One of the myths out there I hear all the time, farming is a dangerous occupation and farm vehicles, all farm vehicles are just an accident waiting to happen. Well in fact most accidents are avoidable if you take the right steps. Yes, it's choosing the right vehicle for the right, right job, making sure that you've taken consideration of the terrain, the weather, etc, and keeping on task. So accidents do happen though, and I hear you've had a couple of near misses yourself. Yeah, a couple of uh, near misses, one with a quad bike uh, some time ago now. Uh, had to get off too quickly for my liking. Uh, the other one was just last year where I had a thousand litre pod came off the front end loader of the uh, tractor and luckily to walk away, but that was a near miss also. What would you do differently? Uh, take into consideration the weather and the terrain and with the, uh, with the pod, they're again using the uh, right equipment for the job. So selection of the vehicle is very, very important. Some farmers think WorkSafe wants to ban quads. Yeah, I've heard that myth too. The quad bike is a uh, very good tool on farm, but I do agree, in some situations, they're a better vehicle for the job. It may be a side-by-side, -side, it may be a ute or a tractor. So how about the claim that you shouldn't wear seatbelts in farm vehicles because it stops you from jumping clear in a rollover? Well, that's another myth out there. Uh, the stats show that over the past few years, those that have been killed in tractor rollovers could have been saved if they were wearing their safety belts. It's like any other vehicle. If the safety belt's there, wear it. It will save you. Simon, another myth out there. WorkSafe don't want kids on farm vehicles. Well, that's not true. WorkSafe is fine with kids on farm vehicles, but it should be the right vehicle at the right time. Um, kids shouldn't be riding full-size quad bikes. If they're riding smaller quad bikes, they should be supervised. And when it comes to passengers, they shouldn't be on the back of a quad bike and they shouldn't be on the open back of youths. When it comes to kids and vehicles, there are appropriate vehicles for kids to use. When it comes to big, expensive bits of machinery, such as tractors, you do not want kids on there because they're expensive, they're technical, and you want to keep your kids safe. At the end of the day, no farmer wants people killed or hurt on their property, and it's not hard to stop it happening.